What's going on, YouTube? I am God is my source, aka Gems. And you may be thinking to yourself, I don't think I pronounce a G like that in this situation. My response is, I'm a grown man, I do what I want. Anybody get some more music today? We got more Young C today. This song is called God's Image. And let's just hope that the way this song is put together is not like the last one. Because this gentleman, Young C, showed some flashes of greatness in his flow. I feel like in parts of that last song, he really went in. But... In other parts, it was absolutely terrible. So I'm hoping that this will be a change, more consistent, uh, great bars throughout. And then I can really give like a solid opinion on this artist. But it probably won't be my final etched in stone decision because it's only two songs. But I feel like two songs is enough for me to at least make a solid decision on how I feel about them. So here we go, Young C, this song is called God's Image, let's go. And if that verse is uh, talking about uh, creation, creating man. Made in the image of you, made in the image of you, made in the image of you. Uh, like I said, this this kid showed flashes of uh, of greatness, but I mean, I'm not even saying that these are like I'm not saying these are the greatest bars ever, but it's it's interesting because it sounds very new school. It's got definitely got a new school flow. I'm um, feeling the beat, of course, and yet. His bars have this sense of old school Christian hip hop. Even with this new school flow. It's very interesting. I'm feeling it. And I had to I'm gonna I'm about to take it back and, and, and do this first verse over. I'm definitely feeling the song. Wow. I'm a little more impressed than I thought I was gonna be after hearing that the last song we did. Uh man, I'm 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 enjoying this song. This is one of those feel-good type of songs, though. It could just be that. It's the vibes, you know? One of those songs, like, uh, I, I think I reacted to uh, Tadashi's Hold Me Down, which is another one of those feel-good songs for me. It's just it's a song that just kind of always brings a smile on my face. It just makes you feel good. This kind of feels like that, except he got bars with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's take it back. Let's listen to this again. And I gotta say, when this came on, this first part right here, I was like, it's about to be whack. I, I was saying it in my head. Like, this isn't. <laughs> but then he, he just really impressed me. But let's get into it. I know I was Genesis. 
scripture in this song and it's impressive when you're not just saying what scripture it is but you're actually saying the scripture with it too it's impressive because you got to make it all rhyme and you can't always do that sometimes you just got to rhyme the scripture and not necessarily what this the content the con text content i guess either way makes sense of the scripture. So, yeah, that's impressive. That's God's image. Uh, it ain't right if it ain't God. It ain't God. Yeah, so a lot of people get caught up with the uh, the image of God. So, of course, you know, there's the, the debate of if Jesus is black or white. Listen, not only does that not matter, but God created man in his image. We are created in his image, man. It didn't say God created a black man or God created a white man in his image. He said man was created in his image. That's all that matters. And now, and let's delve a little deeper into that. So, obviously, God is a spiritual being. We were created in his image here on earth to have dominion over earth. We were spiritual beings. Now, obviously, there was original sin, which severed the connection with God. So now, we are no longer spiritual beings having dominion over the earth. Now we are fleshly beings, sinful beings, because the Bible showed us all throughout, let us know all throughout, specifically in the uh, New Testament that the flesh drives you to sin living in the flesh is living in sin the comparison or maybe comparison ain't the right word but you know they're basically they're one and the same your flesh goes against God everything the flesh desires goes against God Everything that you want to do as far as uh, walking in God's spirit, the flesh, your flesh will fight you. So the flesh goes against God. And we, like I said, we were made in his image. There was original sin. 
the connection was severed so that yes we still look like god but we no longer have the image of god if that makes sense we look like him but we don't have the image because now and i guess it depends on whether you believe these testimonies i do there have been people who have been allowed to ascend to the throne of God and 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 to see him in a sense and they always describe just a pure bright light like you can see him but at the same time you can't see him he's just this pure light and that's how i imagine we were in his image when we were first created yes we looked how we look but we were in god's image so like like an animal you know because obviously there were animals in the garden of eden would see us but they wouldn't see us as in flesh they saw this bright light so to speak the spiritual being because you know it's always said that animals have this presence of, of being able to sense these types of things like they couldn't you know they just know that this spiritual thing was there they didn't really see us in the in flesh now once that connect that connection was severed now we just flesh we looking like food you know what i mean uh so that is when we start talking about the image that's what's important in all of that it doesn't matter what color god's skin is it doesn't matter um and i get because of all that we've been through why you know some black people want to find identity they want uh jesus to be black because of they find identity in that and that's all well and good but at the end of the day it's not what's most important what's most important is that he died for us to redeem us what's important is your salvation that's what's important but let's let's get into this i think i think he's about to finish up this song yeah, Let's go ahead and stop it there because that's basically the end um yes so this song as far as production goes was everything that the last song was not this song was excellent uh put together quite well and it wasn't even all um what's like like the normal like they you know they mixed it up a little bit had some uh some variations in there as far as the song structure and it still worked this song was great uh, I think this one's gonna get added to the playlist. I like this song. Uh, definitely one of those feel the type of songs. So much scripture, and from a, a young art. Well, I don't know how old he is, but he sounds so young. Maybe that's why he calls himself Young Z, because he doesn't look like he's as young as his voice sounds. So hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, Bars was great. Like I said, I just loved all the scripture in there. It was a lot of scripture in this song. That's that's an old school thing because artists today do not put that much scripture in their words. I would say with the exception of Bizzle and not even every Bizzle song, not every Bizzle song, but 
a lot of his songs are filled with scripture. Now, now he might not say the scripture he's using, but if you know the scripture, then you, you recognize it. Um, but there aren't too many artists right now that still do that. Oh, KB also. KB will put scripture all in his stuff. But yeah, there aren't too many artists out right now that are doing that. And if there are, then I ain't hear them. Let me know who those who the artists are right now that are filling their work their their verses up with scripture. Let me know who those people are, cause I don't know about them. But uh, that's it for me, man. Hit the like button if you so choose. Subscribe for more. Drop a content every day. No, let me know how you felt about this song in the comment section. And yeah, till next time, guys. Be blessed.